Well, hello again. I hope we find you safe and well. Uh, quick question from one of our customers uh, in certain parts of the world. Uh, this geometry often referred to as a Hamptons home or Hamptons roof or Hamptons gable. Um, they're popping up all over the place, uh, suddenly rediscovered by architects and others. And so um, the question is, how do we knock one of these up real quick? Uh, so this is how we do it. Um, it's basically getting this uh, return bit in there. Get rid of that for a minute. So we know what we want to do. Um, there's a, a basic roof shape. Uh, the first thing I would be doing would be to modify a roof. It's actually quite simple. Um, um, and we use the Dutch gable function. Let's just save this away so we can get it for later on. And put a Dutch gable into that end. And the overhang and the setback will be the same. So we end up with that. Yeah, and I think you can figure out from where I'm going from here. Pretty straightforward. We use the cutout function, digitise the cutout, and you can be, use the track cutout if you want to be more precise. But uh, that's the process we're concerned about. Um, and we're going to select the plane to cut, and then we just say, right, I want a Hampton's gable thingy across there, about there, whatever that distance is to there. It's about 2,500. So I've come across here about was it 20. 24, so we're going to double that over here to about 5-ish there and close square and then select the plane to cut and we're going to select that plane, no not that plane, that plane, yes and there it is. Pretty quick and simple isn't it? Um, and let's say we wanted one over here as well um, we first of all want to make that a gable end so we just go bam you're a gable and if I go to the isometric view, uh, we don't need that gable plane in there at the moment. So uh, then we just do a group copy, grab that sucker and move it from middle button to snap that point and snap it into that point. Now we've got another one. So um, quick and easy, that's what I would do for that. Um, I'd probably want to do an extend barge in there. So we just use the extend barge function and extend it in 450 and that looks bang on if we go back to what we're wanting to do. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Um, now, a small variation to that. Uh, we have seen a lot of guys that are actually putting a little hip in there as well. So what's the quick and easy way to put a little hip in there? Um, there's no quick and easy way. Um, there's just using the smart lines functions, which you're all quite familiar with by now. So let's show you how I do this on this one side, and then you'll figure out what to do. Um, delete the plane, copy a line that's going in using smart lines. Copy a line that's going in the direction we want. That valley's going in. The, oh, well, this hip's going in the direction we want. Let's do that. Um, a middle button, snap that to there. Then we want to snap, uh, uh, trim to a corner, make that a hip end. Now you want a bit of a, a, a bit of eave line in there, so we copy a bit of eave. So find a bit of eave. There's a bit of eave. We'll snap that into there. Now you want a bit of a bit of a bit of apron. Grab that one and whoops, wrong end. And snap that into there. Let's zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And then trim to a corner. Trim that to that. Delete that and put the planes back. Done. And you go, oh hang on, I want one like that on the other side. So, oh, okay, so what we do, just get rid of the old one, don't need that. And we use the mirror function. So we want to mirror all those things and mirror it about that ridge line and there it is. Okay, so um, yeah, straightforward when you know how I like all these things. So hopefully that's instructive and um, it helps you do what you want to do. Uh, if there's anything else you need at any stage, um, just give us a yell, uh, please to help. Any questions at all, there are no dumb questions, uh, only dumb answers. And I'm the king of dumb answers. So um, drop us a line at any time, rayatapplicat.com and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks so much for your time and uh, stay safe. Bye for now.